Hi friends, I'm Rebecca from There Will Be a $5 Charge for Whining, and I'm a reviewer for the Old School House Magazine and the Homeschool Review Crew. And as you saw, today is about a movie. Um, I don't know about you, but some of my fi most favorite memories from childhood were the nights, um, the one day week that we had our movie night. And I we continued, I continued that tradition on um, when I became an adult and when I had my own family. Um, of course, it's always, I think, hard to find movies that you feel like are appropriate or, um, you know, something that you can show the family without having to worry about all the potty mouth and, you know, that has a good message. And, of course, we're also a fan of the Christian flick, um, the movies that talk about our faith and that... Um, kind of encourage us and build us up and um, the movie I'm going to talk to you about today is no exception it is um, called let me hold up the movie case life with dog it's from Mill Creek Mill Creek Entertainment um, and it stars Corbin Burnson and Mary Lou Henner and Chelsea Crisp now if you are as old as me or older, you probably really recognize Corbin Burnson and Mary Lou Henner. They have been around a long time. Corbin, uh, Mr. Burnson has been in literally everything, including, I believe, I remember him even being an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, which makes him a hero in my book. But um, he has been in a whole lot of TV and movies. Now, Mary Lou Henner, um, if you are as old as me, and maybe even a little older, you might remember her from Taxi and the show Evening Shade. And she's been in a ton of stuff. Really, really interesting people. So those are the actors in the movie. And obviously, the movie is about a dog and a life. And it's about a family who has really, really gone through some dark di days and some hard times. Now, what I'm going to do, one of my things I absolutely hate is spoiling, spoiling movies or books for people because I believe some of the magic is being in that moment and having the whole experience of it unfolding before you. And um, there are some things about this movie that are definitely um, spoiler I don't know. There's just a whole lot of them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you right now that I'm going to reveal some spoilers. This might be for the mama who needs to know, you know, what she is up against if she shows this movie to her family. When I am done, though, I'm going to hold up my sign, my very high-tech sign that says no more spoilers so I can give you the information about the movie. So, if you don't care and you do not, you know, you you want to see the movie as in its entirety and don't want to really know, right now it's time to kind of mute the sound. And when I am done telling you spoilers, I will hold up my sign that says, no more spoilers. Okay, so here we go. So, Corbin Bernson is a plumber, I believe, and he has recently lost his wife, Mary Lou Henner, um, from a, a hit and run accident, she was driving a bicycle, uh, riding a bicycle, and she was hit and run. And he has really spiraled into a deep, dark place. Um, bills have gone unpaid. He's not been able to work uh, because he's just in this deep, deep, dark place. They have a daughter. They have a remaining child. They lost a child when he was young, um, but their remaining daughter is trying to do the best she can for her dad. But he's just in a really, really, and in fact, their first conversation just was hard, hard, hard to watch that you see on the, you see on the, in the movie. And um, there is a contracting company that is developing, uh, like, apartments, buildings of some sort on the other side of the street. And they're trying to talk him into selling his place so they can have that property too. And so there's there's some pretty intense uh, uh, showdowns between the two of them and exchanges exchanges between the development company and um, the character. His name is, let's see, his name is Joe, I believe. And, um, but there's just some, some stuff that's really hard. If you have been in, um, 
you know, some crisis moments in your life or some times of deep despair, you will understand. You can just feel the, Mr. Burnson does such a terrific job, you know, developing this character where you can really, really feel, you know, what he's feeling. He has a, he has had through the course of his life, a nominal faith. You know, he went to church to appease his family. His wife and his daughter are, are, uh, they were women of great faith. And so he's having a hard time reconciling, um, God in his life, you know, where God fits in. And he's very, very angry, very, very angry through the course of this, this dog shows up. Now you see this dog in the first, you know, scene as it will that, that you see in the movie, but this dog shows up and he starts like showing up in, in all sorts of places in um, Joe's life. And at first it's, you know, he's, you know, sprays him down. I mean, he's doing anything that he can to get rid of him. Now the dog reminds me of a pet we had at home when I was a little girl and aptly we named the dog Job. So the dog in this, in this movie reminds me a lot of Job and there's a reason for that. And you will understand more if you see the movie, but as time goes on, he becomes sort of a companion. Now, as the movie goes for the, the main goal this, um, Joe has in his life at the moment is he's going to get revenge. He's going to find out who was driving the car when his wife was died when his wife died who hit his wife and um who was responsible for the hit and run so that's part of his his um goal throughout the movie and i will tell you um I, this is a big spoiler but the owner of the dog the dog that has been in joe's life winds up being the man who hit his wife and they have a big confrontation they have a big um showdown and there's altercations and the police show up and then I think they have this conversation and I, I think there's some resolution but uh, then they're just both carted off in a police car and that's it um, so I wish that I could see Joe in a happier space after this I think it's left up to the imagination about where you know, you feel like he's gone on from there, but I think, I think it's understood that he finds some peace and that he is able to forgive. So I told you there's twists and turns. There's also um, a period of time. You're not quite sure what has happened at the very beginning of the movie. You can tell that there was an accident. There's paramedics and there's you know, just sadness all around. Um, but at the very first scene, you know, you see him in there and he's talking to his wife and Mary Lou Henner, who's playing his Alice, his wife is having this conversation back to him. And then you realize that, you know, she is not, she actually died. So there's some of those big, big moments. As I said, it's intense. If you have little kids, you might prepare them. But I believe the message of forgiveness that you can see this rawness. We are pastors and we deal with real life and death situations every day and these people who go through this intense grieving process and it is hard to watch it's not all roses and sunshines and unicorns and but um it was done really really well i, I believe by mr burnson um i think you will enjoy this movie mill creek has a lot mill creek entertainment i'm going to throw up the no more spoiler sign so I can talk about them for just a second and where you can get the movie. So here it is. No more spoilers. So if you were able to hang out during uh, my spoiler and, and just watch me move my mouth and talk, good for you. So I'm going to hold this up again. This is from Mill Creek Entertainment, A Life with a Dog. Now we did receive the way to access the digital copy. All you have to do is go on and sign up for a free account and you can access a digital copy, but it is not available as I learned. Um, my son has watched it a couple times on the computer. You might have seen some of that. Um, he, he enjoys this kind of thing and I think... Um, the movie spoke to him. Um, but as of June 4th, which the movie is going to be available at your local Walmart, 
Um, you can also purchase the movie online at Amazon or rent the movie, and I know they would appreciate that. As I said, this is good, wholesome entertainment. There's nothing that you have to worry about, no language. As I said, the subject matters are hard and intense, but that is just, that's just life. Um, so I, I think that is, it's certainly something to add to your movie, family movie collection. Um, this is one I also think many people in our church would enjoy as far as maybe having a movie night here at our house. Um, I think they would really, really enjoy this movie. It's something that will appeal to a, um, a lot of ages. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send you down below, I'm going to include links into as far as Mill Creek Entertainment, I'm going to give you the links of where you can purchase this movie. I'm also going to link to you to the Homeschool Review Crew blog site so you can you can see what other people had to say about the movie. Um, or here, there were some of us that did also video reviews.